I'm Pamela and I'm going to show you how to return a package. It is so simple. First of all, you just need to go to our website and go to returns and print off a return authorization label. To be able to do that, you need your order number and your email address. Once you've done that, just start packing up whatever you want to return. We've got a coyote vest here, so we're going to take the spikes off. You can leave the spikes on the collar if you like and all you need to do is roll it. Take a little piece of tissue paper that you have from the box and just roll it. Now, if you're returning something else, let's say you got uh, pre-assembled whiskers, like right here. What you're going to need to do is take the strips off. You have two Velcro strips. Put them in back into the bag that you had received. Make sure and put all four cups back in the bag and the instructions. And then what you do is you just take the whiskers out of here. And if you can, that would be awesome. If you could just take a little piece of tape and you can put that in the bottom of the box. Put everything back into this bag. You gotta have the four cups and the two strips. Put them in the box. If you have a coyote vest, you have an anti-slip strap. Put it in the box. Take the vest, place it in the box just like that. Just take the two spikes, place it in the box. And let's say for some reason you have a coyote collar, you can place that in the box too. I always like to make sure maybe the spikes are pointing inwards instead of head, hitting up against the box. Then you want to make sure, don't forget to put your return authorization form back in because this is how we know who you are. And we can make sure and refund or exchange. So you want to put that in the box. Take a little bit of paper, pop it in. Make sure you close it properly. Just go ahead and slap on the label. Easy peasy, it's ready to go back and be shipped to us.